What is going on YouTube? It's Sankey, we're back with another one. Alright guys, so in this action pack drop, we've got a few plays for you guys to keep on your radar as we get ready to head into the very last trading session of the week. So it's your opportunity to do some last minute buys, get some last minute additions to your portfolio before we head over into the weekend when markets are closed. Now you guys will want to keep it focused on quality. It's far too easy to go out and pick up the wrong plays. That's why in this one, I want to regroup with you ahead of that very last trading session of the week to ensure I'm helping you navigate these markets, give you the cheat code, and ensure that you continue to move in winning lanes. That being said, before we get ready to kick things off, make sure you guys are hitting that like button for me, show your boy some love. Let's get ready for the first play. So we're going to kick things off, ticker symbol ZIM, that's ZIM, Integrated Shipping Services. Now this place should need no introduction, and if it does, then you must be new to the channel. Now check this, we've seen a major move in that stock price today. Not only have we closed up at $53, but we've passed that major threshold. Remember that resistance, that psychological barrier that I was telling you guys about in the previous drop was $50. Once we're able to pass that, I said we should comfortably be able to close the day at $51 or $52. Now we've done one up on that close out today at 53. So now, as I say, that's great movement in our play today, and you guys really should be pumped for what lies ahead for us as investors in this one, and it continues our journey to that $70 price target at least by the end of this year that I have on the play. Now, for those of you wondering how we get to that $70, we are dealing with a very, very, very low price to earnings play, despite the strong level of growth and the financial position they are in, giving them a long runway of continued growth over the next couple of quarters. So really and truly, we are dealing with a unique play. That's why they're a core asset in our portfolios. Now guys, it's crazy to think how undervalued this play is even at these levels in the market. It remains one of the market's best kept secrets, but not to us. That's why we're gonna continue to capitalize on the opportunity. Speaking of which, I'm holding just under 400 shares in this one. All right, solid level of returns already and the move is to continue to build. I'm not done there. I'm gonna to continue to accumulate shares at these levels, right? In the low 50s over the next couple of sessions. Now, once they start moving to the mid 50s, the higher 50s, I'll probably ease off the gas and I'll just hold firm and just ride the momentum in the play. Now, expectations for you guys is, since they've crossed through that $50 resistance and that psychological barrier, I'm expecting them to hold firm in this territory over the next couple of sessions and for the rest of the next couple of months as well. Normally we don't see high momentum plays break through such significant barriers to then drop below them. So I'm expecting to hold firm above the 50s. I'm expecting the play to get to the mid 50s by middle of September. And then as we move to the end of the month, I'm expecting this one to climb to the high 50s, right? Gaining momentum as we continue through the month. Now on a side note, if you play it right, this play can be a call option printing machine. So those of you guys who like to dabble in options, it's an opportunity for you to go ahead, play some middle of September or better yet, October calls based on the price movement that I've just told you guys about that I'm expecting in the play. And it's an opportunity for you guys to again, just make accelerated returns on this one as they continue their momentum over the next couple of quarters. Now I know thousands of you guys are hitting success on our play with us. So you guys let me know down in the comment section so I know who is making bank off our plays. All right guys, so switching gears, we've got ticket symbol SBLK, that's star bulk carriers. Now remember this is a dry bulk shipping play. So their ships move the commodities, the minerals, the iron ores, the grains. It's different from your container ship plays like a Zim, like a Danaos, right? But this is an area, an industry, the dry bulk space is making a comeback from the ashes. That's why we are getting positioned in the play to get ready for the movement up. Now check this, on reflection over the last couple of days, this one's been pretty much trading sideways in the region of that $23, $24 mark. But if we zoom out, look at the bigger picture, this one is hitting an area of resistance around that 24, the mid 24s, okay? This is that previous 52 week high. So we are on the lookout for the play, smashing through those levels, closing up the day around that $25 mark, over the next couple of sessions, breaking into fresh territory, then they're in a good zone and it gives them leg to move up, okay? Up to the mid 20s, the higher 20s, and then eventually getting to our price target in the mid 30s. So tons of upside on the play, because what we have on our hands is a play with a very good balance sheet, good management, but also strong financials, which are even getting stronger as we continue to go through the third quarter and then as we go into the fourth quarter as well, okay? So this is a very strong play. That is another asset to our portfolios. And again, just like Zim, just like the Neos, 
These are plays that will help you guys who have had your portfolios sabotage over other joints, help you guys resurrect those numbers, and then as I say, close out the year comfortably in the green. The next one I've got for that's ticker symbol WBA, we've got Walgreens. Now guys, for as long as corporate America stands to benefit from the boosters, the vaccines, the medical testing, there's no reason why we as investors cannot get in on the action as we continue through. Now there's different angles you can play up, whether you want to go from the medical testing side of things with a play like Danaher, that's one that's going to give you guys firepower as we continue through the next couple of quarters. Or you can take it from a different angle with Walgreens, this is a pharmaceutical play, okay? They have put in great initiatives that is going to set them up for success as we continue through. And also with a booster rollout expected, that's going to again give them additional revenues as they report their next couple of quarters, putting them in a very good position to close out this year comfortably in the very high 50s, okay? So again, this is another asset to your portfolio. Again, for you guys to just move in another winning lane as we continue forward. All right, guys, so those are the players I've got for this one and the moves to make with as we get ready to head into the last trading session of the week. So if you've been rocking with the channel, you know what time it is. Any updates on ticker symbol NIU bought in when you suggested as a short-term play, since then it's up seven to 9%. Do you predict it will reach those $50 highs before I'd be selling? So for those in ticker symbol NIU, that's new technologies. At this junction, I wanna give you guys a little bit of guidance. You guys can see the rebound in that stock after their earnings. Just goes to show you how quickly things can change in these markets. Just another example of justice being served. Now, given this is a short-term move, you guys are up the money on the play. At this junction, you wanna go ahead and apply your trailing stop losses, your stop limit orders on the play to ensure if there's any downs volatility, it can cash you out of the play. So go ahead and apply those just above your average. The key thing is it gives you maximum upside if the play is gonna continue moving upwards, okay? But this is a volatile play. There's a lot of risk that is associated with this one. So as I say, that's the best move. Gets you covered on both bases and importantly, gives you the upside. All right, guys, so that wraps up for this one. If you've got any questions for me, drop them down below and I get back to you. On your way out, make sure you guys like that comment section for me. If you're new, join the movement and I'll catch you on the next one.